I love buying them new toys. Look at that face. Woo! Look at that head. Look at that face. Okay. There goes Ivy messing with him. Rottweiler Vlogs, episode 110. Chilling in my backyard this morning with um, Ivy and Batman. Aqua Force Mac, everybody knows him. You see Ivy, she's, she's too happy. She's too geek. She's getting big, y'all. Those little Frenchie. Um, it's cool to see um, how she reacts with, with Mac. And how he is with a, a little dog. He's He's so used to being um, with her in the house. I think this might be the first time that I had them both outside playing. And he's not going to let her get to that ball. He love that ball. <laughs> so, yeah, yo, this week has been a busy week, y'all. Um, I have been working on this Aqua Force documentary that's coming out October 4th. We're going to premiere that on October 4th. So I've been, I've been working on that. I've been doing... Um, research on some new cameras some new uh, mirrorless cameras that um that were just released i'm making some changes to how i'm going to be doing some of my productions and um i'm investing into some new cameras and some new lenses and stuff like that so that has been keeping me busy this week on top of you know doing editing work and other jobs that i had to finish for other people so it's, it's been a busy week and earlier this week the weather really wasn't that good to to do a lot of filming you know this is going to be a good weekend to do some filming um labor day weekend is supposed to be a beautiful weekend here in atlanta so i'm excited i'm going to get out here and i'm going to do some do some filming and uh, get some good shots of the dogs and, and, and put some videos out this weekend so i'm going to have some time to do that so i'm, I'm going to do it you see these two ivy is just too excited yo look at her and this is straight raw, you know, just me talking, talking through it. I'm not really going to do too much edits. This is just me, me talking while, you know, watching them play around and stuff. And just look at Max Temperman. He's, he's seeing her just trying to bully all on him. He's just like, whatever. I got my toy. I'm chilling. I'm good. Earlier this week, I um, took Mac on Monday. I took him up to South Carolina because I'm finishing up his um, health clearances. Okay, Ivy finishing up his health clearances to get him ready for um, breeding. So I'm very excited about that because he's gonna be opening for stud in October and there's a lot of people who wanna breed with him and if you got females of merit who, um, you know, they have their health clearances and, and they have a pedigree and beautiful females who wanna breed with Batman, Aqua Force Mac, send me a message, you know how to get in contact with me because he'll be fully cleared and he'll be ready to go. So. I'm excited. His birthday is October 1st. He'll be two years old, y'all. Two years old, October 1st. So I'm excited um, in his development and just everything that's, that's been going on with him. I mean, it's crazy. So got a phone call earlier today. Well, I got a message from um, one of my subscribers. Her name is Monique. Shout out to Monique. I talked to her earlier on the phone today. and She was saying how she wants... Um, to see longer videos and videos of um, me talking about the import process because she just secured first pick from an Aqua Force litter. It is um, Aqua Force Rhea and um, Aqua Force Maximus, uh, dope breeding. So she has first pick male out of that. And um, she has some questions about you know the import process and what she can expect. And I, I talked to her and gave her a little bit of guidance, but I wanted to cover a few things about purchasing a dog what you can expect and basically like the ultimate guide to purchasing or adopting a rottweiler um you know there's there's a lot of different ways you can go about it and these are just some quick little guidelines and it, truth be told this may be um uh like a, a part one to a series that i could do like on the ultimate guide to, to purchasing a rottweiler because everybody needs that insight so my number one thing, do your research. 
do your research on the Rottweiler breed, have a clear understanding of what you're wanting to get, um, wanting to get into, um, because you know, you have to understand the breed, what the breed was bred for. This is a working breed. Um, it's a breed that requires a lot of time and it requires a strong leader, a strong handler. You have to be the leader of the pack with this breed. This isn't a Labrador. It's not a golden retriever. It's a Rottweiler. You know, you gotta be firm and you they have to know that you are the leader of the pack out the gate. You know, you can't um, have a Rottweiler and think that you're gonna bring it into your home and it's just gonna automatically fall into the place. Uh-uh. You have to, you know, it starts with training out the gate while they're young, so do your research on the breed. Second thing was um, think about if you want to adopt or shop. This is key because there are many Rottweilers across the states and the world who need homes. So, you know, purchasing a, a Rottweiler might not be the best option for you. You know, you might want to, uh, you know, adopt a Rottweiler and, you know, save a life, you know, and, um, that just, like I said, that just might be a better situation. My thing about adopting is you, you don't know what a dog has been through. You don't know that dog's past. So for some people, you know, that might be a little bit off-putting. I'm gonna get this ball while he's just, he's hoarding it. For some people that might be a little bit off-putting because, um, you know, they don't know the history of the dog and they don't wanna, um, come on, give it to me. They don't wanna bring a dog into their home where they don't know the history and stuff like that or what the dog has been through you know the dog could have been, have been traumatized or the dog could be skittish or be scared you know anything can happen with a dog where you don't know the background but the same token you could adopt a puppy somebody could have a little puppies that they want to get rid of and you know he's focused on this somebody could have a little puppies that you want to get rid of let me see if ivy gonna get it go get it ivy too slow <laughs> somebody could have a little puppies that they want to get rid of and um you might end up getting lucky. So just make a decision. Do you want to adopt or do you want to shop? Say if you decide to shop is know your budget. A purebred Rottweiler with pedigree will run you roughly between $1,500 and $4,000, sometimes more with the average being around $2,500 to $3,000. Now don't get this twisted because a purebred doesn't mean well-bred. And I've seen these prices go up to $5,000 and more. And like I said, purebred doesn't mean well-bred. What do I mean by that? Okay, there are Rottweilers that have AKC paperwork in, um, in you know, uh, registered Rottweilers and, and have pedigree. But you know, these dogs might have white patches on them, or they might have um, underbites or overbites. Look for a breeder who is producing the type of Rottweiler you like. Um, for example, do you want a working line Rottweiler? Do you want an AKC Rottweiler? Serbian Rottweiler? Do you want the extreme look? Do your research on finding a breeder who is producing what you're looking for. All right, and here's a quick note. Um, there's the term reputable breeder, right? What is that? What is a reputable breeder? And to simplify that, look at Ivy going. She got a little bit of speed on her, y'all. Look at her. She got a little bit of speed. Go ahead, Ivy. Okay, what did I talk about? Reputable breeder, okay. To simplify it, a reputable breeder is this. A reputable breeder is a breeder who puts the breed first. They make sure that the dogs are healthy before breeding, they health test their dogs. Their goal is to move the breed forward in the forward progression of the breed, ensuring that their pups from their kennels go to quality homes. And you know they they usually screen the homes and approve the homes before they go to they you know have a conversation with you and stuff like that ask you questions are you familiar with the breed is this your first Rottweiler etc cetera, etc cetera. Um, these are the qualities of a reputable breeder in my opinion um, now you you do have people who are just getting into this and they might not um, know all the ins and outs of the breed and they might have a mentor who is guiding them they meaning like they're they're starting off but they have good intentions and their heart is in the right place it's okay to get a dog from people like that because like i said their heart is in the right place i'm just i'm so busy just talking i didn't realize i wasn't um on to them so you can watch what they're doing so you know researching the breeder and finding a good breeder would be the next thing that i would say that you guys probably need to do when looking for a quality raw wallet mac is getting dirty ivy is just she's trying to get to it um, the next thing after you identify a breeder is um, reach out to some breeders, right? You identify a few breeders you like, start reaching out to them. 
Visit, talk to as many breeders as possible. A breeder with nothing to hide won't mind answering questions about their breeding program or setting an appointment with you so you can come visit their kennels. Um, here's another side note, matter of fact. How can you visit a breeder if they're overseas? Here's the thing, you're gonna ask for referrals. Get a sense of how that breeder communicates online. Talk to the people who they um, sold dogs to. And if that person is pressuring you to make a purchase, that's a bad sign. The rules still apply just because they're overseas doesn't change anything. So you still want to ask the questions that I, you know, I had mentioned uh, previously, you know, you know, about health testing and things like that. You still want to make sure that you're getting a, a dog from an individual who um, is doing the right things by the breed and putting the breed first, like I mentioned. So overseas just um, proposes a different challenge. But like I said, if it's somebody who's doing the right thing, they wouldn't mind giving you a referral or like how Akbar Force does, they you know tell people who are here in the States they can reach out to me or there's other people they can reach out to, um, kind of, of a, a liaison or something like that or, you know, just a middleman because there's a language barrier for a lot of these breeders who are overseas. So um, that would be uh, the fifth thing. I think we're on number five, right? So number six. Number six would be secure a pick. Secure the pick. Depending on what you're looking for, you want to secure at least first or second pick. That's my opinion. Why do I say that? Because there's no such thing as a perfect dog, for number one. And if you're looking for something in particular, the last thing you want is for somebody to be ahead of you in the picking order. You understand? So if you're looking for a dog that has the most drive, if you're looking for a dog that has the best temperament, the mellowest, uh, if you're looking for a specific sex, male or female, the best way to secure that you get what you want for a particular breeding that you're looking for is to secure first or second pick. Now, on the flip side of that, um, if you're just looking for a pet and you want a healthy Rottweiler that you know is gonna live a long and healthy life, securing first and second pick really doesn't matter. You know, like you know, you're just getting a, a quality pedigree dog um, that's gonna be health tested. You know, just coming from um, a, a great kennel. You know, you might want to put that dog in a couple shows. You know, it, whatever you want to do then that really doesn't matter at that point. It's just securing a pick and putting your deposit. So this video is getting kind of long. I don't want to um, keep going too much on it. I'll do another video and I'll talk about some more points because there's other things that I can get into as far as like um, picking a puppy, what to look for, picking a puppy, and then talking about the import process in general. Um, you know, I did a video with Deshaun. We went to go pick up his puppy from the airport, right? And, you know, I, I, I talked about how he needed to have an agent. And, you know, that delayed us probably like an hour and a half or whatever. So that's a piece that some people tend to miss when they're importing a the dog into the States. So maybe I might just, you know, talk about that a little bit more, do an outline. Like I said, this is just a straight, raw video where I'm um, just showing these guys. and They're chilling. And I, I hope you guys enjoyed it because I didn't do my normal edits, you know, not flying a drone around. This is just showing every day, just chilling, bringing a new new toy home. I bought this from Kroger earlier today. And um, he likes it. Ivy likes it, right, Ivy? Look at that. So, we're going to hang out and enjoy this Saturday. Maybe I might get on the grill or something. You never know. The possibilities are endless. So if you like me, you love me, you love everything about me, you think about being me for Halloween, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to check you on the next video. Peace.